under the oak tarot. It is a low scarabio um, publisher and it is Ofride Strega del Melli. I've actually never heard of them, but I have heard of low scarabio or scarabio. And this is a 70 tarot card deck with a guidebook. I've heard of this before and I didn't feel drawn to it until just recently. So I'm going to open this up and we'll go through the cards, the guidebook, and then I'm gonna pull a message from it. So if you wanna stay till the end for the message, the tarot message from this tarot, um, you can do that. Or if you wanna skip all of this unboxing and go straight to the message, you can do that as well. Timestamp is in the description below or in the description. All right, let's open this up. It has a really nice, um, thick plastic wrapping package. Yep, it's quite thick plastic. Okay. I did order this from Amazon and it has this uh, light silvery matte um, oh, what do you call that? Stamping. And it kind of bulges out like a sticker. It's really pretty. So far, I love the colors. The box is beautiful. It's got a matte finish to the box. That's the front of it, actually. <laughs> really pretty, though. I've heard great things about this. So it opens up like this. Okay. And then inside... You'll pull out the guidebook and the cards. And I love how the cards are separately wrapped because it can it keeps them together. And the guidebook is a standard tarot size guidebook that you usually see, matte finished. I really love that matte finished feel. And then the cards look about standard tarot size. So let's open these up and it's pretty thick plastic wrapping. Again, about the same as the box. So it keeps them together and straight. I really like that a lot. It looks like there's a couple extra cards, like those top cards, I believe they call them. So this one, ew, that's really pretty. So these are the backs. Oh, I love this. It's quite a thick cardstock which I personally like thick cardstock. And it's more of a cardboard feel with a low gloss finish. And so I really like that up for on camera, but it snaps right back. These are really good quality and that's just the top card. So that's really neat. Yep, that low gloss on camera helps so much. And then here's another one on the back and it shows for news and information, follow Los Scarabio Tarot on Instagram. And it shows their symbol there. There we go. Same on the other side. Okay. And these are the backs. Oh, same. I love this. This is so beautiful with the blues. They're not like exactly mirrored, you know, right? Because the water, there's different symbols here. I usually like mirrored um, backs for tarot specifically, but that's okay. They're still very, very beautiful. I love the blue. under the oak tarot okay all right so they are gilded they're they're a silver iridescent gilding which is beautiful i love that it looks like they were maybe created or cut or separated at some point because you can see half the deck when you hold it you can see in the middle is where something was separated or cut slightly different or something, right? So there's those. I love the cardstock and the low gloss finish. I love that thick card feel where it just snaps right back. Okay, I love that. So let's look at the guidebook. So here's that, that matted finished um, cover, a feel to it. It's got their low scarabio um, symbol there. And in the guidebook is fully colored. So it shows a table of contents. So it is in English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. So Espanol, Italiano, English, and Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, so, and then it goes into an introduction. So it doesn't have contents for like 
major arcanas, minor arcanas. So that's all right. I think this would be a very good beginner tarot, but we'll have to see. So we'll go into the introduction. Shows you a little bit of colored uh, font. I love the size of the font. It's really easy to read. Reading the cards tells you how to do that. It gives you spreads, which is really nice. There's method of the four cards, method of the seven cards under the oak method. So there's a few card spreads. <laughs> And they show you exactly how to do that and what each card is for. I really like that for card spreads. They lay out a picture as well. That's really nice. And then a journey into the soul. It tells about that a little bit. Beautiful. The pages are really nice than the major arcanas. So they are, there's a number of the card and the name of the card, and it gives you quite a short description of the card meaning, but just enough, especially for beginners. So you could see the fool there. And then we have the magician here. So for the fool, it says, wearing a blindfold obstructs a view of the path prompting swift de decision making. However, decisions must be made with honesty and self-trust. The fool carries a flower as a good luck charm, representing the integrity of her actions and the lightheartedness of her creativity. Concealed within her amulet is a feather, a gentle reminder to embrace lightheartedness, even amid adversity, because the universe knows how to di direct us along the right path. And then there's Anima's message. Embracing swift yet wise decisions, lightheartedness, embarking on a new adventure, creating happy memories, and always following the heart's call. Really good for beginners. Short, simple, straight to the point. So it shows you all the other major arcanas. Okay. And then let's go to the minor arcanas. And it, it does tell you a little bit about the minor arcana first. And then it goes into the cups. The suit of cups of water. Okay, so it's like, yeah, kind of colored guidebook, I guess you could say, just with the fonts. And then it goes into the wands. Quite short descriptions, but not bad. So, swords, there's the pinnacles. Really handy and easy to use, absolutely. And then it goes into the Italiano section. And the Spanish section, Espanol, and then the Portuguese section. So that's really neat. I don't think there's anything in the back. Nope. But that's the guidebook. So really simple, straight to the point. Let me show you the last page for English. <laughs> I think it was swords. So let's double check here. Okay. King of swords. I love it. Okay. So there's that. And for the other um, for the other languages, they include the spreads as well. So that's really, really nice. Cute, really cute. Okay, so now let's go through these beautiful cards here. Look at that. I love gilding so much. These backs are gorgeous. Very pretty. Very different from what I've seen. All right, so we have the Fool. So it is numbered and named with this cute little like banner. I love that. Usually there's like this little table or um, cut off section for the name and the number of the card, but this has like this banner. It's really cute. The colors are super vibrant. It shows a really good meaning of the original Rider Waite Smith tarot meaning. So it sticks with the Rider Waite Smith meanings, which I love that. Almost looks like a solar eclipse there. That is really, really cool. It almost has this 3D, I don't know, 3D type of look with the bright tints to the stars. I love that. And I like that little gloss again. Beautiful full card. Okay, that's what we've read on in the guidebook. Now we've got the magician. I love this. Ooh, a lot of trust. It looks like she's under the oak really pretty. I love how it's numbered and the name on there. And it's full. 
it's a full page on the card or full picture card picture card right no borders so i know a lot of people like that no borders it depends for me oh my gosh this is so cool now we have number two high priestess oh my gosh it definitely has a lot of the original right away smith tarot illustrations which i love original right away smith tarot illustrations and tarot cards just their added touches of uniqueness which is so fun this one's really interesting this is the empress she's like half lion bird woman interesting there we go that is super super different especially for the empress that one's very different. Okay, now we have number four, Emperor. I like how it has a ram for Aries. Wow, that is so interesting. That's powerful. I love how different that is. He's part of the oak. I love the sunflowers. Oh my gosh, these are so unique. Now we have number five, the Hierophant. Oh my gosh, it's a white stag. It's got the throne, the like stone throne. There's ravens or crows. Oh, this is so cool. I like how's the key. Okay, card six, the lovers. Oh, this is so beautiful. It definitely, they have stuck with original Right Away Smith illustrations. I love the peacock. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is so fun. It's like inner child stuff. I love this. Okay, number seven, the chariot. This one's different from original Right Away Smith. It definitely is different. Okay, interesting. I still really love it. Okay, now we have card eight, Strength. Oh, wow. It's another type of creature. I can't remember what they call those. I always forget. You may remember. Usually it's a lion, but it's not. Card nine, the Hermit really interesting a little different but kind of i could see a little bit of the right away smith in this one really beautiful i love all of the nature the animals like elements oh this is so cute so unique okay card 10 the wheel so the wheel of fortune oh that's awesome wow it's got different symbols, just different things on there. The fox, the candle, the symbol, like a rune symbol almost. The snail, the snake, gorgeous. The colors are amazing. Okay, card 11, justice, beautiful. I love how it's a statue in the middle of a pond. Maybe it's like I'm watching a cartoon. It's so cool. All right, card 12, the hangman. Beautiful. The colors just pop. Ooh, card 13, death. Wow. Hoo -hoo -hoo. interesting okay card 14 temperance oh this is beautiful wow it's like a girl bird wow with the wings very significant for temperance wow okay card 15 the devil Ooh.
Okay, card 16, the tower. Awesome. That's really neat. You can feel the meaning from the illustration very strongly here. Okay, card 17, the star. I've never seen a star card like this before. It's like the light side and the shadow side of the self split in two. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, now card 18, the moon. This is the cover of the box and what you usually see like online for under the oak. I love the moon with the eye. Wow, that is so neat. Very different from what I usually see with the moon card. Wow. Okay, card 19, the sun. Beautiful, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Focus. Okay, card 20, judgment. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh, that's so freaking cool. All these cards are so subtle, but so like warming and beautiful, so unique. Last major arcana, number 21, the world. Wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That reminds me of sweet grass. Wrapped around, braided. I wonder if that could be based off of sweet grass. Okay, now going into the minor arcanas, a suit of cups, water, ace of cups, gorgeous. I love it. Okay, two of cups. Oh, beautiful. Three of Cups. Oh, all right. Wow. She's just blindfolded in every single one of these. Trusting the journey. Wow. Very unique. Same little girl. Four of Cups. Pretty. Five of Cups. Oh. That's cool. Six of Cups. Cute. I love the turtle. Seven of Cups. Awesome. Eight of Cups, that one's different. Gorgeous though. Yeah, these kind of give me like a Celtic type of vibe for sure. I love that swan. Okay, Nine of Cups. I love the black cat. Oh my gosh, her blindfold's off. Oh, I love the bowl of water there, like she's crying or something. Okay, Ten of Cups. Beautiful. All right, Page of Cups. Now, Knight of Cups. The Rooster. Oh, that's awesome.
A few statues in this tarot. I like it. Okay, Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Really pretty. Hmm. Okay, King of Cups. Oh, it's like a leopard. I love it. Maybe a cheetah. Yeah, it's like a cheetah or something, huh? Okay, now the other suit of pentacles, earth. Ace of pentacles, so they're crystals. I love it. They did so good on the colors. Okay, the two of pentacles. Okay. Huh, different. Three of pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh. They can make a kid's movie out of this, I swear. Five of Pentacles. How freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool. It's like they've melted gold down and are just running it down through the molds. I love the mice. Okay, six of pentacles. Oh, these are so fun. They could seriously make a kid's movie out of these. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, seven of pentacles. Okay, a little different. Really neat. Eight of pentacles. It's a geode. Oh my gosh. And they're making like the their own crystal type of wand or something. I love this. That is so cute. Okay. Nine of pentacles. <gasps> Ooh. That is so freaking cool. Okay, 10 of pentacles. Huh. Pretty. Okay, court cards of pentacles, page of pentacles. Cute. Love the little mushrooms. None of these cards are sticking together. They are gilded. And some people get that with gilded cards um, that they stick together. These aren't at all. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I love it. Wow, she's got like this bird foot or whatever. Huh. On a bowl. A geode brushing her hair. Oh, she's still covered, which I really appreciate that a lot. I personally don't mind this, but just a little something to cover, especially sharing it, you know, on social media and stuff. So, ooh, the queen of pentacles. Love her hair. She's holding like a star charm or something. Okay, ooh, and the King of Pentacles. So it's like a white snake or something. I've seen that throughout some of these cards. Okay, it's really cool. All right, another suit, wands, fire, ace of wands. So it's candle. Two of Wands, perfect. Three of Wands, wow, cool. 
It's like the northern lights in the sky. Four of Wands, awesome, how cute. Definitely Celtic vibes for sure. Okay, the Five of Wands, wow, that is so different. Wow, doesn't wanna focus. There we go, Six of Wands. Very different creatures in some of these cards. Seven of Wands. Ooh. It's like a wolf or something in the bushes. Okay, the Eight of Wands. Oh, I love the shooting stars. Oh, I love it. So cute. The Nine of Wands. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. So interesting. Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, now the Page of Wands, Court Cards of Wands. Oh, all right. The symbols on the, oh, what do you, pot or, oh. Okay, the Knight of Wands. There's the rooster. I love it. Oh, he's got the wings on his ankles. Okay, I've seen that in a movie and heard of that before in the stories. I think that's Greek. Okay, now Queen of Wands. Ooh, beautiful. So beautiful. And the King of Wands. All right. Oh, the Suit of Swords air, Ace of Swords. Yep, there's some like runes, symbols. I love the crystals and the butterflies. I was just watching a show on Vikings last night too. Norse stuff. Okay. Ooh, the two swords. That's really good. These cards feel so nice. Okay, the three of swords. That one's a little bit different. Still rune symbols, lightning, clouds. Okay, now the Four of Swords. Wow, she found a giant, like a Norse god or something. Ooh. That's cool. Okay, the Five of Swords. That's awesome. The transition from the moth to the butterfly, or I mean the caterpillar to the moth or caterpillar to the butterfly. More runes, more stuff here. Ooh. That is so cool. The Six of Swords. The swords have all those like runes, symbols and stuff. Butterflies, I love it. Wow. The owl, I love it. Seven of swords, ooh. 
Okay, the Eight of Swords, so good. I love how they're all named and numbered on the bottom on that banner. So focused on these illustrations, they're amazing. The Nine of Swords, wow, so good. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. Took her blindfold off. All right, Court Cards of the Swords, Page of Swords. That's amazing. All right, the Knight of Swords. What? It's like a dragon. They're like headstones or something. Or just stones. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. These have to be Norse. That's neat. And the King of Swords. These are so fun. So fun. None of them stuck together with the um, silver gilding. They've got this beautiful iridescent. Um, almost, you gotta catch in the right lighting. They're not really that iridescent. It's just like a silvery gilding actually. Yep, so these are the size of them. And let's see, I can show you Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms. So this is Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms. The exact same size. So I don't know what they use, but it's traditional tarot size that you usually see and get. Okay, that is so cool. I love the thickness, the feel. They really snap right back. Low gloss, especially for on camera. The gilding's an added touch to it. The book is great for just handy, wanna learn some tarot, and it's a great um, collection, or it's a great deck for a collector as well. So I like that. So let's pull a quick little message, okay? I love this one. It reminds me of my inner child, my childhood with like play and like cartoons that I'd watch and what I was into and just like fairy tale, nature, animals and stuff like that. So that's cool. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly do some Mugwar and Sage. Um, I've already set my intention now that these are clear of anything that may have been left behind and um, shipping or handling, processing or anything like that. But I'll sage and mugwort them anyway. Smudge them. And the guidebook. So this will be just a general timeless reading. And use your discernment. Take what resonates and leave whatever may not resonate. Okay. And let's see here. Let's put that on there. And let's see how it shuffles. I shuffle two different ways. So they're already kind of split in half on their own. So maybe that will go away eventually. Sometimes that does go away. And I shuffle this way first. Oh, yep. They are really nice. Some people shuffle differently, you know, so it really depends on how you shuffle. I shuffle this way and some people shuffle the other way like this. They hold it long ways and then they'll do the double shuffle or the the bridge shuffle, you know, and those, I think you would need definitely a more thinner card, a more flexible card, but I shuffle this way. So I really love these. They go smoothly together, just like that. Oh, they feel so nice. They're not too big. Um, I got smaller hands, so I like smaller cards usually, especially for tarot. All right, really neat. Yep. They're made really well. I'll do it a few more times and then we will pull a message for you.
awesome, very smooth. And then this is how I shuffle two. Okay, I love them. Okay, so I always ask and connect to divine source like creator, guides of love and light only for guidance, connection, messages, anything and everything. So be it so it is. What message do you have for those who have sat through this or this unboxing to get the reading or um, came here for the reading? Those willing to receive the message. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do one more. Okay. Yeah, I love these. These may be one of my new favorites. All right. Neat. So. The first card is the Eight of Wands. That's fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be in a chart significantly somewhere, but it doesn't have to be. But the Eight of Wands is about something coming in fast, quick, out of the blue, on fire, like messages, news, information, a text message, a call, receiving news, or um, like a light bulb moment, something happening quickly. And it can be some message, some news, um, gaining some clarity something that comes in out of the blue on fire quick and fast okay and fire it's about action and passion um uh determination intentions then we have the four of cups water cancer by scorpio energy and this is a cancer card for me because it's a four and cups water so cancer could be in your chart significantly somewhere it doesn't have to be cancer rules the fourth house of home family, structure, stability, foundation, nurturing energy. But the Four of Cups is overlooking something, dismissing something, not seeing something, okay? It can be like tunnel vision or um, just kind of like, just focused on something specifically and not being kind of mindful and aware of your surroundings or aware of other information or aware of what message and news and you're not gonna see this coming. You're not gonna see this coming. Okay, you're going to be focused on other things. Maybe it's daily routines, daily life. Um, this could be while you're in your home, just kind of hanging out, doing your thing, watching a show or something. And all of a sudden, like you get this information, this news, this text message or light bulb moment, or you learn about something or gain some clarity on something. And it just like, boom, out of the blue quick. And now you have the seven of wands. So fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cups can be feelings and emotions, but the seven of wands is like standing up. It's like, okay, I can take action. I can stand my ground, maybe speak my truth. It can be speaking up, speaking up for yourself. It can be protecting yourself, protecting how far you've come, protecting everything you've built, maybe even your family and loved ones. We talked about home a little bit, about your feelings and emotions. You could be standing up for your feelings and emotions, how you feel. Okay, but this is like also putting up a healthy boundary, a healthy bubble, uh, a bubble of protection. But it is like, okay, I'm going to kind of reclaim my power back in a way, like stand my ground. All right, so interesting while we're doing this unboxing and reading, we are in a Mercury retrograde. And so during Mercury retrogrades, um, it's very important to not take everything people say li so literally or um so specifically because there's a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of miscommunication during the time of a mercury retrograde and thoughts can be a bit jumbled or um back and forth and uh, our communication our words can be a little bit sporadic and not balanced and so we have to be super mindful of that all right, there's a lot of arguments because of miscommunication and things like that. Okay, so now the last card is the devil card. Okay, so this is a major arcana, can hold major event, major life-changing energy. Just focus on this energy, okay? So this is Capricorn. Capricorn's an earth sign. And Capricorn rules the 10th house of career, public image, and social status. So... The devil, though, is about chains, cords, ties, fear, ego, doubt, addiction, um, not a very healthy mentality, um, negative addictions, negative attachments. It can be 
just fear, any kind of fear, fear of loss, fear of letting go, fear of surrendering, fear of losing control. It can be um, mind altering substances, but it's like this negative energy, it could be aggressive energy that you may feel is coming at you and you're not going to see it coming. And then you're going to be like, mm, hold on here. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to stand my ground and hold my boundary, put up my protective bubble against whatever I'm feeling from you, maybe an attack. Okay. This is very specific. So for those of you just, um, keep this in mind. All right. But I do want to read these out of the guidebook because I want to know how this guidebook is and I do feel it's going to be really good. So let's read the eight of wands really quickly. So they don't have the contents to find the wands. So I'm just going to have to scan through the book, go past the major arcanas, go past the cups. Let's find the wands. So here's the wands. Okay. The eight of wands, the stars can provide guidance to help us uncover the secrets hidden within our hearts. This could be hidden things and secrets as well. Manipulations. All right. Hidden within your heart. In order to accomplish our goals, it is essential that we approach our endeavors with sincerity and a willingness to accept the consequences of our actions. Never give up your dreams. Engage them with a balanced and logical perspective. I was talking about the Mercury retrograde, right? Being logical and trying to think things through before saying and acting. Um, yeah. So the world wasn't made in a day and the same can be said for our own lives. At times it is important for us to take a moment, look up at the sky and make decisions with genuine sincerity. Anima's message Change is on the horizon. Wishes are about to come true. Creative energy transformations in every aspect of life. Okay. All right, so there's that. It did talk about the stars. It shows this, these shooting stars. So I wonder if this is some kind of recognition for some of you. Um, star potential being seen, okay? And um, it could be about something you're wishing for or dreaming of or have in the past. Interesting. You're not gonna see coming in. All right, now let's read the Four of Cups. Let's go back to the cups and here we go. We should sit and wait, fatigue, and see making big changes or choices or big purchases, big decisions during a mercury retrograde is not the best unless if you really think it through and take your time because usually we, after a mercury retrograde, we have to go back and fix something or there's miscommunication and then we have to redo something or you know stuff like that so let's continue fatigue is simply the result of working long hours to achieve a goal and now it is time to take a break reflect and carefully consider our decisions mm -hmm. sometimes the gifts we receive are not always what we desire and it is understandable to feel disappointed Boredom presents a fresh perspective within silence lies the hidden secret of revolution Another hidden secret from two different tarot cards. Interesting. So you may uncover this and it may be like, oh, light bulb moment, epiphany. I just uncovered the secret or was told something that I didn't know before. Some lie. I'm okay. This is very specific. Anima's message. Seek a fresh motivation to move forward. Lack of progress in relationships, discontentment, disappointments from people we love. We talked about home and family, maybe even loved ones, just for some of you. Okay, let's go to the wands again and read the seven of wands. I like the guidebook. It's very handy, but it doesn't have any reversal meanings in this guidebook. So, um, so it's good for beginners, um, learning the, all the upright meanings first, and then later on go to, um, learn the reversals. So I still love it. All right. Seven of Wands. The reward we have earned is well deserved, but it also has a dual nature. It is important to consider different perspectives as this allows us to not only understand the bigger picture, but also explore the finer details. That's Mercury Retrograde. 
Oh, you got to really read between the lines and go over like contracts and before you sign, like read it word for word. <laughs> okay. There is an enormous task that is both intimidating and has the potential to bring us greatness. Intimidating. Maybe um, when this presents itself, some dreamer wish that you wished for that uh, maybe was hidden or felt hidden from you to discover and have. Um, all of a sudden, you may hear about it. It may come in. You may have the opportunity to do it or have it. And then you may feel like pulling back because it's like, oh, this is a big deal, you know, and that's where the fear ego comes in. So let's continue. <clears throat> we are in the presence um, of, we are in the presence of a seemingly threatening wolf, mm -hmm. okay, which may wish to help us, but is baring its teeth defensively. Anima's message, resilience and wisdom to defeat enemies, something to cease deceiving, achievement of set objectives. I'll be with a fair share of challenges. Albeit, albeit. Um, interesting how it says defeat enemies and deceiving then the devil. Okay. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure you are getting information from a good source. Um, look things over, look things through, listen to your intuition, go within. All right. The devil seduces us with his temptations rendering us immobile amidst fears and insecurities. The things we do are connected to our desire for pleasure, but we can't see clearly because of the madness that surrounds us. Yet amidst the struggle, not all hope is extinguished. At times, the devil, once a tempter, transforms into an unexpected guardian. Our challenge is to reclaim our freedom and navigate through the noise of external influences without giving in to their influence. And Nima's message, Temptations, painful separations, careless actions driven by recklessness, betrayals and wrongdoings, repentance after making mistakes. Okay, so that's the message from Under the Oak Tarot. I loved it personally. I really like this guidebook. Super cute. I usually don't use tarot guidebooks. So I, I probably won't really use it much unless if I need something specifically. But I think this is a great beginner tarot deck. It's super fun. If you want to connect to your inner child, I think this would be a great one as well. And if you want, are a collector, this is beautiful. These are great, great cards. The card stock's amazing. I think it's totally, totally worth it. They're beautiful. All right. So that is the Under the Oak Tarot by Lo Scarabio. Um, a fry, a freed, a free day, Strega Deli Melly. I hope I'm saying that right. Beautiful for the message. Just take what resonates, leave whatever may not resonate. Use your discernment. Okay. Whatever didn't resonate, just leave for somebody else. And thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you can always reach out to me. You can message me privately. You can email me. My email's in the description below. And as always, abundant love and light. So be it. So it is. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell if you're on my YouTube channel. And it helps so much the likes and the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.